So um, Coral Reef Adventures is meant to be environmental education for the children, the local children of this area. We talk a lot about reef ecology throughout the program, so every single lesson that we do sort of has a running theme of conservation and um, protecting the resources that they have available to them. Um, this year we had over 100 students participate in the advanced program and the regular program that's registered students. Uh, for the curriculum and the regular <laughs> camp we did a variety of uh, different topics and um, we usually do uh, interactive skit and different uh, activities to uh, cover these themes. Um, we wanted to make the activities that we did with the kids energetic at, very active because they're out of school in summertime and we wanted to, them to not forget that they were learning but not be thinking the fact that oh I'm going back to school. This year we had a microscope out and we attached a fish scale under a, a slide with some tape and they were able to look at it under a microscope and it was really nice because the kids they knew what a microscope was but none of them had used one before or a couple of kids had and um, we also put some sand underneath the microscope to really talk about the different shapes that you see in the sand and how it's made up of different components. We had a, an amazing poet, I think he's right there, who he wrote a, a song or a poem called Belief of the Reef, <laughs> which inspired the Coral Reef song. Because the last line is, oh good grief, protect the reef. <laughs> um, so he and I wrote a song together that you'll hear in a second. It's pretty... So we, our days were normally, we'd have like a, a round circle and we talk about things and share ideas. Um, one of the uh, things we wanted to stress to the kids was um, how important the reef was to their community. And uh, we definitely did that through conservation, but we also did that through various um, guest speakers that we had for the camp. So for our younger kids are whale sharks. Um, they did two projects, one of them was songs. Miss Hannah did some singing with them of songs that they, that they had learned in the camp. And then our other group was a reading of House for Hermit Crab, where they again acted out the story to House for Hermit Crab. Our older group, our whale sharks, I mean our angelfish, split up into three groups. There was a reading that they acted out, a skit of another reading of a mangrove book. Our third one was a manatee puppet show, where they made puppets out of uh, paper bags and then wrote their own skit. And then um, they also, the third group also did a dance. And then we had the singing of the reef song with all our hand movements for their parents and friends. And we gave them their reef expert cards, signifying that they are an expert on the reef and can tell you everything they know.